Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Katrina Sargent, the owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do the smoke method tumblers that doesn't require a candle and a knife. First, you are going to need a prepped tumbler and a tiki torch. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. I found that tiki torches let off a lot of the black smoke you're looking for. So you're gonna take your tumbler and roll it along that black smoke off the top. The closer you get to the flame, the darker the smoke effect will be. You wanna keep rotating it in different angles to get different looks. Just keep playing with the angles or closer to the fire, the closer you get, the darker will be like this. Don't forget to get your bottoms. I like going from the bottom up on a few, so you get the smoke to kind of wrap around from the bottom up. Once you're happy with how the smoke effect looks, you are going to seal it very lightly two coats of a clear coat of your choice. This is just triple thick from Krylon. Now I'm moving on to my baby blue tumbler. I do not want any dark, harsh lines on this. I'm going for more of a feminine smoke effect. Um, I'm gonna be adding glitter to it later. So I constantly keep it up above the top part of the smoke. Keep rotating it in different directions to get the different effects of the smoke wrapping around the tumbler versus curving. Just play with it until you find a look that you like. Now that I'm happy with the look on this one also, I can put out my flame. Make sure you always extinguish fire in a safe way. I'm going to clear coat this one also with little spurts. So it's very lightly the first coat. The second coat is going to be slightly heavier. And then we will go and add CC DIY quick coat before we epoxy it. So no smoke lines move, no, none of the soot changes the look at all. So now we have done two coats of a clear spray and one coat of quick coat on these tumblers and they are dry. Now we're moving on to the epoxy step. I use CC DIY Artist Resin this is two-part epoxy resin. I'm doing a fairly thin coat because I'm gonna be adding glitter to this tumbler. I kind of forgot that when I started epoxying, to be honest. So I try to remove uh, some epoxy back off of it. Um, so once I have it fully on, you're gonna make sure you get your bottoms. If you have a taped lip, make sure you get the epoxy between the tape and the tumbler. So it has a good, nice straight line when you remove the tape. I hit it with a heat gun for a few rotations about 15 minutes after I apply the epoxy. And then about 15 minutes after that, I hit it with my torch to 
pop any micro bubbles. After I use my torch, I remove any tape at this time. And here's a closer look of the different directions the smoke took on each tumbler. And then I just sprinkled on a little bit of iridescent opal glitter in a few areas to give it a little sparkle. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so anytime I make a new tutorial, you are notified. I also have a Facebook Tumblr group at facebook.com Devil Doll Community. Thank you for watching, and you can find me on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.